Good morning, everyone. Okay, so as you guys can see, today, Coach Leung is with us, you know. Uh, we are, actually, we are trying to, we are coming out with this to encourage everybody to join us, okay, for this workout. Okay, so maybe uh, Coach Leung can give a little introduction about himself, okay? Okay, hi everyone. Um, Leon from the Singapore Slingers. Uh, in case none of you know, my jersey number, my jersey number number 10. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have been on live on Wednesday today, this week. So why am I here again? Because uh, I couldn't finish my strength and conditioning workout and I want to make sure that uh, I share it with you guys because uh, it's a big part of what we do, uh, especially building up towards the season. Strength and conditioning is a big part of uh, what we do to make sure that uh, we can endure through the six months of uh, intense competition. So uh, right, right, right now, we're just going very, very... Uh, slow pace don't worry we're not gonna kill you guys uh it's just a little bit uh it's also a bit of uh rehab for some of you guys that have ankles and knee issues because it starts to strengthen them all right good uh, good job Leon. Away, okay just using the body bit yep please don't kill me okay please no, no, don't right. kill me yeah. i'm ready yeah okay yeah, so good hands so basically i'm gonna lead the stretch so uh maybe you guys can prepare your water bottles basketball and if you guys got gym mats yeah that, that'll be good Okay, so I now my let me put my chair away. Alright. Okay, let's start off to increase our heart rate. Okay, you know, go. we're going to go through I'm this. Ready. Okay, let's go everybody. Let's slow jog for us. Slow jog. Okay, on the spot. Okay. Alright, slow jog on the spot. Okay. Okay, now go faster. Okay. Faster. 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 And relax. Okay. So next one, I want high knees, high knees. So high knees, high knees. Okay. So as you guys can see, uh, we are having a dual stream right now. So maybe uh, so one, not not showing you guys on a side view. Okay. So right now I'm gonna show you the front view. So we're gonna go high knees, high knees. Okay. High knees, high knees. Right. Five, four, three, two. One and relax. All right, next up. Let's go back kick, back kick. So your your heels to your back. Okay. So ready and go. Back kick. Five, four, three, two, one and relax. All right. Next up. We're gonna go slow jog first. Okay, so we're gonna go slow jog and we're gonna go for a hurdle step. So you guys will go outside okay. to inside, like you guys are going across a hurdle. Okay, so let's go slow jog, hurdle step. Then we're gonna switch leg. Slow jog, hurdle step. Okay, we're gonna slow jog, hurdle step. Go slow jog. Further steps. Okay, so now let's switch. Now we're gonna go front to the back. So we're gonna we gonna try to open up the hip. Okay, so we, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So jog. Yeah. So jog. Open up. Nice. All right. Keep going. So jog. Open up. Yeah, keep going. Slow jog, open up. Slow jog, open up. All right, now, so next one, we're gonna go, okay? We're gonna go jump forward and backwards. Okay, so this will help us in terms of our, our footwork, okay? Our feet set, okay? And increase our heart rate. So you guys ready? So we're gonna go jump forward and backwards. Okay, so ready and go. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. All right, next one, we're gonna go jump side to side. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a bit. You'll let everybody catch some breath. Okay, so now, we're gonna go jump side to side. Okay, so try not to land on a heel. Okay, try to land on the toes. Okay, ready? Go. I mean, balls of your feet. Okay, balls of your feet. Yeah, keep going, keep 
joint, keep going. So here you just are doing well. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, let's give yourself one clap, two clap. All right, good. So next up, we're gonna go for some static stretches, okay? So now we're gonna go left over right. All right, good job, check it out. And go right to your left. Yeah, stretch. Right. Let's go for a tricep stretch. Okay, stretching is important, man. It should be your day to day activity. And switch. And relax. All right, let's go for some uh, hamstring stretch. So you gotta go. Touch your toes, stretch, put you there, and switch. And relax. All right, you're gonna go for the quad stretch. So you're gonna stretch your quads. Okay, try to balance yourself. You can't, you can try to hold on, hold on something or what? And relax, let's go switch. Yeah, if you can't, try to hold on something. Try to really stretch your quads. And relax. All right, that's all for my stretches. Okay, so now, so now, maybe you guys can grab a seat of water before we start our session. So then I'll head the, the main program to Leon. Okay, so let's grab some drinks. Okay, I'll go get some water first. Did you gotta make some magic? Magic. Okay, uh, okay, that's water. We're, we're expecting something cool, Coach Q. <laughs> so what's your favorite workout drink, Coach Q? Workout, workout drink? Yeah. Yep. Plain water. You should drink Plain lots water. of water. Wow. Okay, so yeah, now we have ready for the we have everybody ready. Coach Leon, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm ready. Are you you're ready? Yeah. Everyone ready? Okay. So uh we're just gonna go through eight quick exercises. Uh not not really gonna go like a lot of reps. So if you guys think that it's helpful, you guys can actually do uh multiples of sets. Uh so we're gonna go through three three lower body workouts. Uh, one upper body, which is the push-ups, and then four simple core exercises that consist of uh, side planks, forward planks, uh, mountain climber, and last but not least, bridges. Okay. Yeah, so for I'm basketball, really basketball is very important that uh, we strengthen our lower body because it's, although the game is to be played in upper body, uh, in terms of physicality and uh, all the other pushing and shoving, shooting. But actually, everything comes from the lower body, where the power is being transferred from the legs towards the upper body. So it's very important to have a very strong uh, lower body. So the first test to see if you have a strong lower body is to be able to balance on one leg. Okay. So there, the first workout. So we get a leg balance. Okay. So what's what's the key is that make sure that uh, you try to go in a you try to get a little bit lower. So you, you go into kind of like a quarter squat. Okay. So in the midst of doing that, make sure that uh, you, you, are, you are in balance and then try not to hold on to anything, okay? So you try to do this for 15 seconds, okay? So to challenge some of you guys that you think is very easy, you can do shooting while balancing, okay? So it's shooting, 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 okay? So let's go with the left leg first. So ready? For 15 seconds, me and Coach Q is going to count it down. So ready? Yeah, and I'm ready. Go. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last but not least, fifteen. All right. Okay, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty simple, right? Okay, so let's go. Move to the right leg. Move to the right leg. 
same thing, legs up. Get in the balance first before you start counting so that you can you can last for all 15 seconds. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, great. So right, that's the first first lower body workout. Yeah, first lower body workout. So as you get better, you guys want to extend the time, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or even to a minute. Or use different uh, platforms to balance so that it challenges your uh, body to be able to withstand uh, high high intense landing, especially for ankle. So they don't get uh, ankle sprints so easily. Yeah. Okay, next one, very simple chair. Okay. Because some of you guys, uh, you guys may not may not know whether you guys are parallel. So using the chair is the best tool to make sure that. Uh, your hip and butt goes and form a line, a parallel line. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do body squats. So we're just gonna go, I'll put the ball down this time. So we're just gonna do body squats. But the key of using having a chair is to make sure that your butt touches on the chair, but not to sit down. Don't, don't, don't sit down and don't come up, okay? So make sure you sit down, butt touch the chair, and explode up as fast as possible. So drive from your butt and your hip upwards, okay? So down and go up. Okay, so it should be a fast up. When you go down, you can slow down a little bit. But make sure when you go up, bang, as fast as you can. So that works on your power. You go up. Okay, same thing, we're gonna go 15 reps. Coach Q, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so eleven, five more, twelve. Go down, 13. Yeah, 30. <laughs> two more, two more reps, let's go. 14. And the last one. 15. Okay, great, good job. I got it. Oh, Kotinda. As you guys oh, see, good, man. Kotinda has one of the perfect forms because uh, his back is always straight. So that's also one of the key. So make sure that your back is always straight and not rounded. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so the next, next exercise uh, will be lunges. So you probably want to clear clear up some space. So for me, I need to move the chair away. Okay. Okay, for guys that don't have such good uh, hip mobility, uh, you guys may want to uh, put a ball on the ground as like a it's like a target point so that when every time you every time you lunge. So I'm now at like sideways position. Okay. So every time you start from this position where the knee is on the ball. Okay. Then with this, in this default position, you try to use the same thing, use your butt and your hips to drive yourself up. So one, and go back down. And two, go back down. Three, go back down. Four, go back down. So everything comes from the butt, okay? Not your upper body, not anywhere else, okay? So we're gonna go five on each side, and then uh, the lower body workout is done, okay? Yeah, I'm ready. First thing, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it without the ball. I'm gonna do it without the ball. So that I can get more depth. Okay, ready? And go up, one, down, okay, two, up, down, three, down, four, down, five. Okay, great. Okay, let's go now with switch sides. Switch sides. So now put your right leg forward, left leg at the back. Okay, same thing, start from the default position where the knees are down, uh, but Face in the back. Okay, ready? Ready and go. One. Down. Let's go. Two. Down. Ready and three. Down. Let's go. Four. Down. Okay, last rep, last rep. Go. Be as explosive as possible. Ready and go. Okay, oh. wait. Yeah, oh, so we are done. We are done. So. 
yeah, if it's burning, so it, it should burn your butt, uh, especially your glutes and your hips. If you feel any other muscles, it's normal because uh, you're in a, in a bent position, so you activate your quads too. Okay, next one, my favorite workout. So it's uh, my 10K push-up challenge. So <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta go push-ups, okay? So that, we just have to go for simple 10 push-ups, but uh, at the same time, make sure you guys uh, go try to get your hands straight and then go as much as parallel to your shoulders and your chest. So both of that try to form a straight line and then from there on, come back up straight and then move on to the next breath. Okay, pretty simple. So try to try to get a straight line as much as possible. Yep. So you guys have coaching on the line. You see how he forms a straight line. Yep. See, forms a straight line, then he comes back up. All right. So same thing. We gotta just go to go fifteen, and then we come up. Okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready, coach. And ready, ready, and go. One. One. Two. Two. All right, two, Coach Q. Okay, two, let's go. Three. Three. Four. Four. Okay, five. 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 Okay, six. Six. Yep, seven. Seven. Yep, eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Let's go five more. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. And last but not least, fifteen. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, great. Oh, everyone's ready now. So yeah. you guys can clean some sweat. Okay, let's go for I'm a quick thinking. water break. Just a sip of water. Just a sip of water and then uh, we'll come back again. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, if you guys got any comments, you guys can just write it down or oh. you guys got any suggestion or what? Oh, it's really intense. Okay. Okay, the next four will be core exercises. So uh, it's very simple. We're going to go uh, front planks, side planks, uh, mountain climber, then we go bridges. Okay, I, I, have, to, I have to clear the planks first because uh, the planks are always the most uh, full core enable workout because you gotta activate yeah, yeah, yeah. not just your not just your abs but also your back and your glutes to make sure that you form that straight line and okay. hang it there. Okay, so let's go with front planks first. Okay, so coaching okay. that we're gonna show you the side view. I'm gonna go with the front view. Okay. okay. Can you see how Yep, good. Okay, so we just gotta go same thing uh, for 15 seconds, but for you guys that are more advanced, you guys can go for a longer period of time. Okay, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Okay, great. So we're done. Coaching that you're done. I know you're hardworking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up, side planks. So for side planks, uh, just, try to, just try to keep your body on a sideways, but uh, standing up tall. So make sure that uh, use your obliques to make sure that uh, you keep yourself straight up and then have the other hand uh, point up to the sky as tall as possible. Okay, so ready? Okay, 15 seconds. Ready? And, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, down. Okay, yeah. Then we go to switch, switch sides. Like, sorry, I'm a little bit close to the camera. You guys can't see. I'm gonna go back a bit. Okay, so let's use the left hand. Okay, let's get in position. Yeah, ready, coach? Yeah, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, great. Yeah. So you guys are on the ground. Uh, we pretty much go into a push-up position, but the difference now is that uh, one knee is bent and about to your chest level. Okay, chest level. So what you do is that you try to like run in this situation. So every time you run, you change leg, right? Yep, yep, yep. So you run, you change leg. Okay. Can you guys? I hope you guys can see. Okay. So from here, you just switch. And then you switch, okay, for 15 seconds. Okay, ready? Coach, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great. Yeah, great, good. great. Okay, so the last, the last but not least. Uh, we gotta do a bridge. Okay, so uh, bridge is not so much of uh, your app workout, but more of uh, your back and your glutes and your hamstring to make sure that you form that uh, elevated stand. So, Kosina, can you show them the, the bridge yep. uh, form? Okay, so your, your butt starts, yeah, yep, the butt starts down like Kosina. So, when you say go up, you see how it forms. Uh, a straight line from the shoulder blades to the knee and make sure that uh you keep it there for 15 seconds okay coaching that you come down first before i, I wear you out <laughs> do the reps okay okay ready so 15 reps and then we are done with our quick workout so what you guys can do is that you can do this in sets so you can be like a quick 30 minutes workout okay coaching that you ready yes i'm ready and One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All okay, right. Good. All good. Okay. So we are done. We're done. We are done. Yeah. Okay. It's a great workout, Leon. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, all right. So before you end, maybe you can do some stretches or what? Or oh, yes. Or you are doing some That's stretches. Very, that's very important. Yeah. So while you guys are doing some stretches, let me lower down. I tried for. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Now the chair comes in handy. So you guys can. So. While you guys are doing your stretches, yeah, stretching, stretching out is very important. Okay, so uh, I want to use, actually I want to use this time, right? I mean, so before that we start, if you guys got any question to ask Leon, you guys can just write it down and I mean, type it down and comment it. Okay, and yeah. remember to like and share our page and this video. Okay, so yeah, basically we are, sure. we are coming up with lots of videos. Uh, yeah, okay, then, just, just, uh, just curious question now, okay? So yep. since, since this period, okay, everybody is down and plus, there's an extension, there's an extension for our, our circuit breaker. Okay, yep. so what kind of adjustment, like uh, be it mentally or physically, okay, yep. to adjust to this kind of, this period of time and to prepare for you, uh, prepare you for the next season? I think yeah. the biggest thing is discipline because you know, you know now you can't go to the basketball courts, right? So yeah, the definitely. Big, the big change would be, so what you got to do with, in terms of your workout. So you don't get to shoot the ball. That's one very key component because uh, shooting is all about the touch, right? You, get, you, you, you should know because you are, you are a shooter as well. So uh, <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be one, one part of your game that's being taken away. But at the same time, uh, it gives you the opportunity to work on your strength conditioning, uh, your mechanics actually. So shooting in front of the mirror is one big thing that uh, I, I like to do now so that I can speed up my my shot and get better in terms of shooting. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, that's what I like to do. Shooting shooting facing the, the mirror. Okay. Actually, so actually, actually, actually Coach Q loves to be in the mirror to see his uh, handsome face. <laughs> okay, more so... More than he loves to see shooting. <laughs> All right. Okay, 
So I don't know, Hoyo, so the last question, okay, as you guys, yep. as you know, right, Active SG, plus, uh, Active SG, we got these three values, okay, teamwork, honor, and yep. resilience, am I right? Mm -hmm. So if yep. I got to ask you, pick one, one important values out of these three, right, to, yep. uh, which one will you choose to become an athlete, mm, okay, and, I, or I, a professional? Okay, like personally, you. I think, I think uh, in, in the three of that, uh, one one stands out because uh, it's more than just yourself, uh, which is okay. teamwork. So honor and resilience uh, is something that's within you. If you have it or you don't have it, uh, it's up to you yourself to do it. But I think teamwork is one of the most important things because uh, we, we play a team sport, right? So uh, five yeah, of us yeah. on the court, seven on the bench, and then maybe 10 more coaches that is on the bench. So uh, from, from the first person to the last person, uh, from the first coach to the last coach, all of us have to work together. Uh, and have a common goal. So for us, in this, during the season, we have three imports that comes from all around the world, and then yep. nine locals. At the same time, uh, we have Coach MJ and we have Coach, uh, Coach Neil. So both of them also come from very different backgrounds, one uh, based in Singapore and one based in Australia. So all of us have different philosophy and our approach to the game. So the yep. key thing is to come to that common goal and make sure that we as a team work towards that goal. So that's the true teamwork that I think it's important because uh, it's not just what I want, uh, what the imports want, but it's more of uh, we as a whole, as a whole uh, Singapore singers group working towards that goal, which is uh, what makes us successful. Because uh, we always emphasize that team comes first before I. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. So, so last, last, last thing. Okay. So, uh, yep. What, uh, what can you share? Okay, what do you want to share to yep. the fans out there? Okay, using this right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I think as much as you guys have been very supportive of us. Uh, yes, of course the COVID nineteen virus hit uh sixteen games into the season. So, uh, we do not really know what will happen if we continue playing the ten games. Uh, maybe in the playoffs. But I think we we, we as an association want to thank all of you guys for uh, showing out showing out love, coming to all the home games in all the sixteen games that you guys. Uh, has been a part of. Uh, it's always a true blessing to play in front of the home crowd. Uh, you guys yeah, are yeah. just the best fans ever in the world. Uh, and I hope that take the time to uh, really adjust yourself. I know that some of you guys are doing uh, work from home and it, and it creates a lot more uh, jobs because things are not uh, as easily communicated. But I think at the same time, uh, you guys don't want to take the stress out of yourself by uh, sharing family time with your with your family members and hope that uh, you guys can get through it together. Uh, although you guys are stuck within the four walls of the house. So yeah, so just stay positive as much as possible. Uh, just, just like you guys, uh, I'm, I'm also handling the same stress, uh, not being able to work out outside yeah, the four walls of the car. Definitely. So hope everyone but, stays positive and healthy. Yeah, positive man, positivity is the key. Yeah. Okay, this period of mm -hmm. time. Uh, I really want to encourage everybody to stay together, stay together this period of time, and stay home. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. remember, okay, to wash your hand after this this session. Oh, okay. okay, every single time. So, yeah. Then, uh, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, in Active Action Basketball Academy, there's there's lots of video we are coming up. Uh, to let everybody know what you guys can do at home. Okay, and remember positivity and no excuse. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. No excuses. And I'd like to thank anywhere, anywhere. Uh, Coach Leon. Leon over here yeah. sharing his experience as a player. Yeah, I would very appreciate. Okay, so thank you uh, for having me, Coach Q. Yeah. So see you soon. Yeah. Hopefully we can have a have a street ball or train together. Yeah. After the we'll circuit breaker. Okay. Thank you. All good friends. Thanks for All having right, me. See you. Take care. Bye bye.